Hey, what's going on guys, Pog here, and today I will be unboxing and setting up my new PlayStation 5. Here's the front of the box, we've got Sony right there, 8K, 4K 120, HDR, PS5 with the PlayStation logo, PlayStation 5. This one here is the CFI-1215A model. It does say that the 8K, 4K 120Hz and HDR content requires a compatible display and supporting software for it to function properly. Looking here at the top, as you guys can see, we've got Sony, PlayStation 5, again the model CFI-1215A. On the right side, you can see the contents. So for example, this PlayStation 5 includes the PlayStation 5 console, wireless controller, base, HDMI cable, AC power cord, the USB cable, printed materials, Astro's Playroom pre-installed game. Here's the back of the box where it does say play like never before. Lightning speed, harness the power of a custom CPU and SSD with integrated IO that rewrites the rules of what a PlayStation console can do. Breathtaking immersion, discover a deeper gaming experience with support for haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and 3D audio technology. The adaptive triggers on a PlayStation 5 controller is amazing. Stunning games, marvel at incredible graphics, and experience new PS5 features. Play a back catalog of supported PS4 games with system update. So a lot of cool things, 825 gigabytes, as you guys can see. And then here we've got the PlayStation 5 system on the stand itself, as well as the DualSense controller. So without further ado, let's go ahead and cut the seal there we go now we can open this up and once opened we do have a box inside of a box that slides out nicely got the playstation logo right there nothing else around here as you guys can see let's go ahead and open this up for the first time here we go. Shows us instructions how to do it properly. So step one, we're gonna take this off right here by pulling this. And then from there on, you can see the PlayStation 5 system right there. So let's put this aside right there. I'm also gonna turn it away so we can see the PlayStation emblem, which looks great as you can see. All right, so let's open this up opens up like this. We've got the PlayStation 5 quick start guide. Safety guide. Got a power cord. Inside here, we can find the USB-C to USB type A cable to charge the DualSense controller. There we go. Opening this up, we do have the stand. So you can turn the stand like this for vertical use and then like this for horizontal. We do have the screw here. And unlike before, it does have this thumb screw here, so you can do this without needing a screwdriver. When the PS5 came out, you did need a screwdriver to screw this properly. We've got the HDMI cable included with the PS5. And lastly, in this package, we do have the DualSense wireless controller. Let's take it out of here. Feels great to the touch. To date, this is my favorite controller of all time. Works great. We've got the R2, R1, L1, and L2. Adaptive triggers, got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Microphone mute over there. Speaker, there's the back of the controller. Sony over here, USB-C port. Overall guys, literally the best controller in my opinion from my experience using a PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, all of the other ones. Uh, my favorite controller is the PlayStation 5. Let me know guys in the comment section below which is your favorite one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the PS5 system. 
So this is gonna slide out like this. Here on the left side, we do have the PlayStation logo right there. This could be the top of the PS5, depending how you set it. If it's horizontal, then this is the top. If it's vertical, it will be the left. Here at the front, we do have a USB Type-A port, USB-C port, We've got the eject as well as the power. Disk slot right there. There's the bottom or the right side. Here at the back, two USB type A ports, internet port, HDMI out port, as well as the power port. There's the top of the system. That's a Sony right there. And if you look closely, you do have the triangle circle X and square nicely over here. When it comes to the stand, you need to take this off. In here, you have a slot in the stand, so you can put it in like that. So that way it doesn't come out. Then we're gonna put the stand like this for vertical use. And then we're gonna screw it in like this with our fingers. No need for a screwdriver with this newer models. Now this is all ready. So let's get this plugged in and boot up for the first time. Connected the controller. So all I have to do is just press the PlayStation button. Gonna select English United States. Connect to my Wi-Fi network. Connecting to the access point. Connecting to the internet, adjust display area. Adjust your PS5 HDR setting to optimize the video quality of your games. Press up and down button to adjust the brightness until the symbol is barely visible. So we're gonna make sure it's barely visible. I'd say right about there. Let's hit next. Barely visible. I'd say right about there. Again, barely visible. So because this is the disc PS5, I can put a disc inside of it so that it's gonna start installing it while we're waiting for the rest of the stuff. But I am going to pass on this for now and just hit continue without a disc. Power options for rest mode. You can do optimized experience, low power use, or you can go custom, let's go custom. Supply power to USB ports for three hours. I think that's pretty good. Stay connected to the internet. While in rest mode, your PS5 can download, update files and content. Enable turning on PS5 from network. Let's leave all that on. Okay, perfect. Let's do it like that. I'm gonna confirm this. Update the system software to use network features and get the most out of your PS5. Let's hit continue. After the download, it did restart and now it's installing the update. Installing the update file. Press the PlayStation button now. Now I'm gonna sign into my PlayStation account. Once I typed in the information, secure your account, let's hit OK. Console sharing and offline play. You already have another PS5. Console sharing and offline play enabled. Do you want to enable on this PS5? I'm not gonna enable this because I have another PS5, of course. If you already have a PS4 or another PS5 console, you can transfer your data to this PS5. Do this later. Welcome to PlayStation 5. From now on, it should have the Astros Playroom already installed or on its way to get installed. What's this? Uh, DualSense wireless controller device software update. Let's hit update now. So what it's doing right now, it's updating the DualSense controller, which is pretty cool, where your controller even gets updated. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna press the PlayStation button. And from here on, we're gonna download, of course, GTA 5. And here's all the games that I ended up putting up for download. I'm gonna wait for all this to download and then I'll start gaming. So I've got Fortnite, GTA 5, and also Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So that's pretty much it guys for this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.